Imagine you sitting at the uni right now. You feel like you waste your time there. You get a boring class and you scroll. Well, I don't know, I never seen you in uni. <laughs> but you love this device with you. You feel amazing, you feel not frustrated, you feel in control when you click on these buttons and you have the power to simply use it in your own way to socialize, to waste your time there, to scroll the freaking TikTok. In today's video, I'm gonna present you a GIS guide to the phone that makes you value, that makes you money and saves your time. Now, this is the first point, the value making machine. This should be used only for creating the value, for providing for you, not stealing your time, not taking your time from you even though you want to, even though you are sitting in line, even though you don't need it right now, even though you want to waste it. This is not what top 1% guys use the phone for. They use it only for making value for themselves, to saving their time. If it would not provide a benefit, would people really use it? First reason why it was created just to call someone, and by calling you can close deals, you can sell something, you can like meet up somewhere from the phone, it's information, you know? This was created to call, and now what it is? Now it is entertainment god in your pocket. Anyways, this is the first reason why you should think about improving your phone, simply because it should provide value for you. If it doesn't, you don't need a good phone. If you don't, if you can control yourself in the social media, if you feel like you're lost, if you don't make pictures, if you don't make a personal brand, you don't need a good phone, you don't need an iPhone, you can simply be with this Xiaomi one or with some kind of cheaper one just to call someone, just to write a message fastly. This is the G's guide, the top G, Toasty. and he would use it in the right way. Now on to the second thing, the airplane mode. Answer this. When was the last time when you turned the airplane mode on? Probably in the airplane, or maybe never. Recently I thought to myself, why this button is like, stays in this place that it could be easily reached? And the answer is, I don't know, <laughs> maybe just for safety. But for us, it really makes a good point. And you know why? And I will tell you why. Because airplane mode the number one thing that destroys your destruction. Now there is a technique that they use to stop using their phone without a purpose. Now if you would think about the people that are rich, that are wealthy, that are making money, yes, they have like their internet on all the time just to check whether they got a message from a business person, from a partner, from, you know, like, they got the urgency, and you, you don't. Do you make any money right now from your phone, from personal branding, from connecting with like-minded people? Absolutely not. If so, you wouldn't watch this channel. Now, in our situation, the airplane mode is the savior. I will show you on my iPad. The airplane mode is located right there in this control center. It looks like airplane, basically. And what it do... When you turn it on, it turns off your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth. Now if you turn it on, tough off, it will put it back. I don't use it on my iPad because, you know, iPad, I, I don't have any apps practically there except notes. But why we would use it? And there is the meaning behind it. You have airplane mode all the time. And next time when you pick your phone out of your pocket, you would get a friction and the thought you would ask yourself why I need to turn off the airplane mode right now to reach my phone. Is this a meaningful thing to do it right now? Why I do it? And you know what? And you, what if you would open it mindlessly? You would go to some app, you would go to Instagram, you don't have connection. You think, oh shit, if I turn on the airplane mode, I should probably don't use it right now. I did it without purpose. I did it like brain dead it. I did it like this Gen Z do, just not thinking about it. And this could save you so much time, brother. I do it for myself. I turn it on, especially with, you know, estrogenics and radiation. And there is a theory, but I believe in it, that Wi-Fi destroys your health. It's not proven yet, but let's see what is going on and what will happen in 20 years. Anyways, turn on the airplane mode every time 
and turn it off only if you need the phone, only if you need to text your mom, only if you know that you pick it up right now to post a story in Instagram if you're providing the content for some brand, for example, only if you know that you need to call someone through the internet, through Zoom, Skype or whatever you use, only in that situation. Even if you know you need it. If you need to check fastly the reviews of the book, you're standing in the book shelf, and you want to buy this book, but you know whether it's good or not. This is when you turn off the airplane mode and you can use it, when you have a meaning to it. Now this certain last thing, also connected with airplane mode. Now you need to nix your notification, you need to destroy and turn them all off. I know that it's frustrating in and iPhones to turn them off, you need to go to notification and specifically click on each app. I wish why there is no just the toggle that toggle it off every one of them and then you can just whitelist the ones that you need but now you need to turn them off sadly in android you have the other feature you can go on the message that you have right now you can like hit it and then hold for a little and then you will get mute the message from this app so this is how you do it you need to your notification why you do, why you do it even in your text messages up because you don't need them when you open your phone with airplane mode on you will not get a notification from social media but anyways, if you don't do it, you will get this notification and you would probably play it on it. You don't open your phone for checking notification. And if you did, you would turn off the airplane mode and you would go to WhatsApp or the app that you use for texting. You would go specifically to this app to check your notification. Not to click on message that pops up because you got a notification, your phone lights up and you need to pick it up right now and to open this. Maybe not important text. I will tell you my story. The last time I went to the gym and my mom was calling me, she went behind me, she forgot to pass the key to me and she was going on the haircut, so she was calling me and I wasn't answering, my phone was at the airplane mode, that's the first one and the second one I, it was silenced. So what happened is that I just came to the gym, I turned, on my, turned off my airplane mode and I saw the message from her that she was trying to call me and then that she needs to pass a key and she is at that location come after gym to pick the keys up i'm sorry that i didn't pass you this while well, at least you were home and it wasn't angry and it was not that urgent you know i didn't lose anything except time but i was okay at the time i just had a walk uh, because it was literally near my gym anyways you know nothing bad happened she called me one time and there is no, no one is hurt it no i didn't i don't like put the home on the fire or something like that. How many urgencies you get from the last year? Like urgent calls? Probably none. I didn't. Like I don't remember any. So next year notification is important, especially with text. I didn't get any important text for last year. That's absolutely true. That's why you nix them. Second thing is home feed. When you have these apps right there and you can place them in your own way. You see on my iPad I don't have many. You place only the important one, not social media, it's not like some useless stuff like from the shop, for example, you get Best Buy app or something like that. You put this, only the things that you use quite frequently and the less you got, the more you have. Only the useful things, only the important stuff, only the things that you would click on and you would feel that you need to click on them. For example, texting app. Yes, you mix your notification, but then you can achieve it, like access it with this icon. Probably that's it. That was easy and simple guide for you. How to get the top G's phone <laughs> settings. And remember that it's not about the phone settings, it's about mindset that's in the way that you use it. And the phone settings just simply could help you with this mindset, just to improve it. On this nice note, don't be nice, be good. See you next one. And what bank? Mwah.